waves. There are five oceans in the world, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Arctic and the Southern Ocean. They constitute more than 90% of the total area under water. Pacific Ocean The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world and covers one-third of the globe. It is bordered by new fold mountains that have a concentration of active volcanoes and are known as the Fiery Ring of the Pacific. Indian Ocean The Indian Ocean is triangular in shape. It covers one-fifth of the total area under oceans. Asia lies to its north, Australia in the east and Africa on its western borders. India is at the head of the Indian Ocean. Atlantic Ocean On the east coast of the Atlantic Ocean is Europe and Africa, while on its western borders are the continents of North America and South America. It is the busiest ocean in terms of trade and transportation. In the middle of the ocean is a submerged mountain range called the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Arctic Ocean The Arctic Ocean is the northernmost ocean. It lies north of North America, Europe and Asia. Located inside the Arctic Circle, it remains frozen for most part of the year. The Southern Ocean surrounds the continent of Antarctica and is formed by the merging of the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Oceans. Ocean water is constantly in motion. This is because of the combined effect of the differences in temperature, salinity and density between the waters of different oceans and the effects of winds. Waves are formed when winds blowing over vast expanses of ocean water cause the water particles to move up and down. The stronger the winds, the greater will be the waves. The top of a wave is called crest and the bottom is called trough. The southern hemisphere has more water than land. It is called the water hemisphere. There are mountains under the oceans known as submarine mountains. For example, the island of Mauna Kea in Hawaii. Enormous tidal waves such as tsunamis can be very destructive. Tides The sea level rises and falls throughout the day and night due to the strong gravitational pull exerted on the earth by the sun and the moon. These periodic changes in the water level are called tides. When the water flows into the land, raising the level of the ocean, it is called the flow tide. When the water recedes, exposing parts of the shore which are covered underwater during flow tide, it is called the ebb tide. Twice a day, the flow tide reaches a high point called the high tide and similarly, twice a day, the ebb tide reaches a low point called the low tide. So in a day, there is a high tide followed by a low tide about six hours later. Then a high tide again after another six hours followed by a low tide after six hours. When the sun, the earth and the moon are in the same line, the highest high and low tides occur because of the combined gravitational pull of the sun and the moon on the earth. These are called spring tides. They occur every full moon and new moon days. When the sun, the moon are at right angles with the earth, the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon are at their weakest. We then have low high tides and high low tides which are known as neap tides. They occur on the days which are midway between full moon and new moon. How are tides useful? 1. Tides are helpful in fishing, trading and navigation. 2. Ships can easily enter the harbour at high tide. 3. 
tides also help wash away sediments accumulated at the mouth of a river.